you go and guys you're good to go. Hi guys. What's up? I'm good, how are you? Is the microphone on? Or is it just an echo? That's me? Oh, okay. Uh, amazing. Um, you know, opted out for health reasons, but I had a, a great time with my kids. Uh, was a dad for a full year, so that was different. Um, but it's great to be back out here with the guys. Uh, and just had to let them know the first day back, like I missed them, missed them all. Even Bill. Uh, yeah, me and him had a little heart-to-heart -heart when I got back, but uh, it's been great. It's been fun getting back into the swing of things, finally just to break a sweat and be chasing other grown men instead of kids all day. I, I did, I did. Me and him stayed in contact. We text every now and then, but just, you know, being just like around the guys in the locker room and stuff like that, you know, you miss stuff like that when you're away. Was it weird not having a set schedule and being like coached and having everything kind of laid out for you? It was for the first couple of weeks. Like, I appreciate it because it was like I wake up when I want, do what I want. And then after a while, I was like, this kind of sucks. I need a schedule. But, you know, uh, as time went on, you got used to it. But, like, James, Sony, you kept the group chat going all year. So, you know, I was kind of kept abreast of just about everything. But uh, it was still fun all in the same. Yes. Are you guys able to do that this year? Are you able to do more team activities? Uh, kind of take that upon ourselves this year, especially with everything going on outside of football. Um, we kind of just kind of stick together. And right now, being able to contact each other on the phone has been the biggest help. Uh, meet up here, meet up there, and then just being able to study, still ask questions, be in the building, especially during this time. We still get able to, we're still able to hang out with each other, especially like our running back room. We're still tight and thick as thieves. I'm at home. You're at home. Yeah. So do you miss the hotel environment? No, indeed. No. no, not even a little bit. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I mean, you know, I appreciate a clean room every time you come back, but no, 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 no. I'd much rather be at the house. From a conditioning standpoint, how long did it take you to, to feel like you were back up to the level that you were before last season? You know, being, out, being away from, from football for, for four years. How you haven't been here long, huh? No, it doesn't take long for me. Uh, as soon as they sent out the letter saying we have a training, a training camp report date, I'm getting back in shape, ready to go. So when I got back, uh, when we got back and we was ready to start everything up, I was ready. <laughs> it sucked. It was a uh, bad, and I tried to keep my same schedule because if it's a one o'clock game, I know we got to be up at eight o'clock. So I'm up at eight, fixing breakfast, and it was like, hey, shut up, we're sitting down and we're watching the game. So, you know, me and the kids had a great time, and it was it was still fun. I was able to watch the game. I was into it. I knew what was going on. I could hear the calls on TV, and I'm able to text the guys. was like, hey, this is what this sounds like. This is what it is. So it's like an extra set of eyes, but we don't get to talk about it until after the game. So stuff like that, you know, I was still able to still be part of the team, just not with the team. Uh. Same OB, you know me. I'm ready to go, ready to have some fun, uh, get the guys going whenever they need it. Uh, like I've told them, I miss them, and they told me they miss me, and so we're just trying to get back to where we were. Why are you all in our business? I'm just playing. I just play. No, 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 no. Oh, we had that conversation several times. Me, like I said, me and Coach talked pretty much since the time I told him that I was making the decision to opt out. Me and him stayed in contact with each other so like he knew how I felt about the situation he knew how I felt about coming back and he told me how he felt about me coming back <laughs> uh, he was totally surprised like I told pretty much my brothers my mom and his wife and then just we were just sitting at the house and she was like yeah just make sure you bring your jersey and so he was surprised because we pulled out his old AFL jersey and you know he put it on he was like oh and then he hit the question like why do I have this on and so when I pulled out my jersey he was like well, whose jersey is this why is my jersey blue and I turned around he saw my name on it, and he was extremely excited so he's happy I'm happy and he was the first person to get a bold and signed jersey so you know he always had that thanks A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, trying to drop off playlists every morning to Bears, so we have some new music going on every day for practice. You know, dropping off. Pretty much, I just make a playlist and I just send it out, so whoever wants it, they can get it. If you don't want it, hey, it'll be a new one coming out tomorrow. 
that is just for the team. But if you pay our subscription of one ninety nine, I'm just playing. Uh, it's just for the team right now. We just got like a little kind of equipment training room group chat, and we just kind of put that in there, and they just drop it off every morning about seven o'clock. I mean, we send it to Bears. If he plays it, he plays it. If he doesn't, he has multiples to choose from. So it's like you know, uh, take your pick. You know. <laughs> Uh, I'm a big fan of all of them. I've been watching Cam since we were in college. I played against Cam in college. Been watching Mac, you know, going to Damien's house and hearing Damien talk about him all the time. So I've been watching him for a while. So it's great to actually see him work in person, get to see their personalities, their different personalities, which isn't as, as different as you would think. But uh, both of them are great quarterbacks, great athletes, and you know, just glad to get to work with them. Like I've been off for a year, so it doesn't matter who's back there. I'm just ready to play. Yeah. Uh, high energy. These guys just want to have fun, and I'm like, that's me, 24/7. So we all we click. Um, since since I got here from minicamp, it is not like nothing. Like I ne was never gone. Even with the new guys, they bought right into the program, and so like we're just trying to get back to having fun. We want to win and everything else, but this main thing is make sure we do this and have fun while we're doing it. Yes and no. Uh, just from being around these guys, I kind of, what you see is what you're going to get. So I'm expecting everybody to be themselves. Um, but at the same time, I haven't hit anybody for a year and a half. So I'm just ready to hit. So I'm coming in expecting to get hit and everybody's expecting to get hit tomorrow. So it'll be fun. I, I truly believe it's going to be a great day tomorrow. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.